Hi, welcome to the 13th tutorial of learning programming with JavaScript. In this, I'm going to show you how to create a simple button and how to respond to click events on it. This is going to introduce you to basic UI development. So we're going to jump straight into this and create a button, create a new variable, var button, and then we can create a button with the document.createElement function. We say what element we want to create with this string. We're going to create a button element. We need to set what our button says. We're going to say, hello, I am a button. So set the button.text content to whatever string you would like, whatever you would like the button to say. And now finally, to actually add the button to our page, we need to do document.body.appendChild and pass in the button as the argument. And you can open this now, and you can see we've created a button that says our string, hello, I am a button. But when we click it, it does nothing. So I'm going to show you how to use the add event listener function that we've used in the past to listen for the click events. So this is going to be just like before, but instead of document.addEventListener, we do button.addEventListener. And then in our function here, it will call this whenever the button is clicked. So at the beginning, we're, we're just going to call, we're just going to say, I alert, I have been clicked. Now when you click the button, you get this message, I have been clicked. I thought this was pretty boring though. So I thought, hey, why don't we randomly move the button around? we can use the margin left and top style fields to move the button on the x and y axis. So I'm going to set the button.style.marginLeft, which is going to be the x axis, to the result of math.random, which generates a random number between 0 and 1. So now I'm going to scale math.random by 300 because we want it to go between 0 and 300 pixels, and then we're going to add the string px, which says that the units are in pixels. If you don't do this, this will not work properly. And if you open this up and try it, click the button, you can see the button moves across randomly on the x-axis by 300 pixels. You can copy this, replace margin left with margin top, and now it will do the same on the x-axis as well, and you'll get a randomly moving button. Congratulations! This is actually pretty close to making a simple game, and also introduced you to making your first interactive UI of your own. This opens the doors to many great things. If you noticed, we don't have our dark theme, and if you try to apply the body.style.background color from the last tutorial, you'll see it doesn't actually apply the dark theme to the button. So now I'm going to show you a trick that you can do to apply the dark theme to everything in your page and you can just quickly add this at the top of your code. document.head.innerHTML equals star parentheses background color. You'll notice this is similar to the code we wrote before but this is actually creating a new style sheet that applies our dark theme to everything in the page. It uses a lot of HTML and CSS, so it's not expected you understand it when you're doing JavaScript tutorials, but I just thought it was very good to have this fully working dark theme. So there you go. If you would like to apply a dark theme to each of your pages from now on, you can do so very easily with that little piece of code. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this learning programming with JavaScript, and I hope you use your power to create buttons wisely.